Our depositors whose funds have been locked up following the financial sector cleanup will start receiving payments from Monday, February 24. That's according to President Ekufuado. Now, the receiver is also expected to release some 5 billion cities in addition to the 13 billion cities invested in the banking sector cleanup to several depositors who have been validated. The president's assurance comes after complaints from depositors about the slow pace of payment of their funds. This was after the central bank's revocation of the licenses of nine universal banks, 347 microfinance companies, 39 microcredit companies or money lenders, 15 savings and loans companies, eight finance house companies, and two non-bank financial institutions which had already ceased operations. The receiver of these institutions has begun a validation process for affected customers as well as an auction process to raise some more funds from the assets of the collapsed institutions. President Ikufuado, during the State of the Nation address, assured customers of payment from Monday, February 24. All depositors of the savings and loans and microfinance institutions, including DKM, which collapsed in 2015, will receive 100% of their deposits too. And I'm informed that the receiver will begin making payments to their customers. These monies, totaling 5 billion CDs, being in addition to 13 billion CDs being paid to the customers of the failed banks. He urged management of banks to adhere to the new corporate governance guidelines from the Bank of Ghana to promote sanity in the financial sector. He stressed that all persons whose actions have contributed to the banking crisis will be made to face the rigors of the law. I want to assure, assure Ghanaians that we're going to hold those who have been responsible for these failures of financial institutions, the supervisors and management of these institutions, accountable. A process which has already started. We expect that those whose job it is to supervise the banks and other financial institutions will do their jobs honestly. Head of the Business Administration University Department of, of the University of Professional Studies, Professor Albert Puni, says depositors should welcome the progress made so far and also monitor to ensure they do not miss the process of receiving their 100% deposits. The president is the first gentleman of the nation. And once he has said it, I think we can take him by his way and then we should be monitoring. He also said that the receiver is going through the validation process of some. So those processes are definitely going to take some, some time. So we, we, we monitor from 24th, we see what is happening.